So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Kim. <laughs> Okay guys, so before I even start this video, definitely follow me on all my social media platforms that will be linked down in the description down below. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, okay? I put out good content, okay? I'm on the come up, you know what I'm saying, sis? Okay, but if you're interested in the side tattoo or under boob tattoos that I got, definitely continue watching. I also will have some tips for you. I got this tattoo in May. Um, it is very something. It is something very meaningful to me. Um, let me just show it to you guys. So let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Do you see my drip where I'm at? with it y'all see where i'm at with it okay this is my side and this is what it looks like and it wraps around to the front okay y'all so that's what it is so this tattoo is very very meaningful to me um it is a scripture um, I decided to get it in Roman numerals because I didn't want to see numbers. Like, I just thought that it was so dry. So, I wanted to amp it up. So, I got Roman numerals, but I still wanted the book of the Bible to look very, um, snazzy and not too plain. The scripture means, and I will put it in the description so nobody won't be on my tail like, girl, you don't know your Bible, but look. Basically, it means, like, if you speak it, pray about it, and have faith that it's going to happen, then it will happen, um, and God will do it for you, okay? Period. So, that's why I got it. Um, most of the tattoos that I do have on my upper chest area are very, very meaningful to me, and obviously, they're close to my heart, so you get my drift, you get what I'm, what I'm getting at. So, yeah, I really do believe in this scripture, and that's why I got it. Um... I got it done by this guy named C. Um, he used to work at a shop called Seven Sagan up there by UNCG. He is located in Greensboro. So if you're ever in the Greensboro area, definitely go check him out. I will put all his information in the description down below as well. He recently got a new shop. So he has his own shop, independent, you know what I'm saying? One-on-one. -on -one. It is what it is. So yeah, I definitely recommend him. I love him as an artist. He's very professional very well put together and knows what he's doing okay so as for pain i will put it at like an 8.5 personally when you get up to the top it kind of feels like it's in your armpits and when you get onto your ribs it's just very very um touchy okay it's very tender okay honey so i'll put it at 8.5 and my pain tolerance really isn't that high so if I can do it, you can do it, sis. The aftercare wasn't that bad. Um, basically, the only downfall is that, you know, as a woman, you have to wear a bra. And the bra kind of cuts, you know, into where the tattoo is at. So, I did have to wear, like, a little, like little cover-up or a sports bra or something like that for a week or so. Um, just so, like, it wouldn't be so tight and rubbing up against the tattoo because you want it to peel naturally. Also, when I was, like, taking a shower and stuff, I be wanting to get all over my armpits. But, like, the um, washcloth would, like, rub up against the tattoo. So, I had to, like... You know, be very cautious of what I do because obviously when you first get a tattoo, it's going to look very fresh, very nice. It might even look swollen because mine usually looks swollen. And then as time goes by, you know, after it peels, it will fade a tad. So, yeah, if you peel it too fast, it's going to start fading even faster than it should. And that's what happens to this one right here. It's actually not, it doesn't look bad, but y'all, I was, yeah, I was scratching that thing. Now for my tips, guys. So if you have any questions about that tattoo, definitely comment down below. But this is for anybody that's going to get their first tattoo. And before you get it, this is what you need to know, sis. Okay? So, firstly, research your artist. I cannot stress this enough. Like, And I don't mean just like 
you know, look at a couple pages and then be like, oh, well, he cheap, so I'm going to go to him. Like, no, do not do that. You need to make sure that the artist you're going to is going to be very professional, very clean. Um, also, take into account what their specialty is because some people specialize in, like, animation. Some people specialize in realistic. Some people um, specialize in, like, lettering. Some people specialize in, like, small pieces or big pieces. You need to look at their portfolio. And they don't have a portfolio. You're already messing up, okay? And that could be that could be Instagram. It doesn't necessarily have to be a website. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a booklet. But if their portfolio is slim to none, I wouldn't go. If the work that they've done, it doesn't seem up to par because I've seen plenty of people post work on their Instagram and it's not good. And it's already on somebody's body. Not good. Okay, so definitely look into that. It's, but I look but mostly on color because the next tattoos I wanted to get, I want to get it in color and I want to get that glossy Nice look, not no shaded crayon looking stuff. You need to make sure that your artists know what you're doing, okay? Secondly, placement. Now, when you go to a shop, he should or he or she should recommend where it should go. Now, you can tell them a vision of how you want everything to go, but if you're not negotiating with your artists, maybe you should rethink because you don't know everything, okay? You're not no tattoo artist, and they're going to recommend the best placement for you okay because you might not always know what's right also when they're putting on the stencil or they drawing on you the sketch of how they're gonna tattoo it on you make sure your skin is in its relaxed form okay if the tattoo artist is not putting it on there in your relaxed form you need to think again and go okay because just like my sad tattoo, putting my arm up definitely shows like my whole side, obviously. And it's more ideal to see it like that. But this is my side stretched, okay? So when I put my arm down, it's going to be scrunched up, okay? And that's not necessarily like a fault in the tattoo. It's just that he didn't put it or he or she didn't put it on there the right way. It should be while your body is calm, standing up straight. Okay, definitely look at the tattoo before he starts actually putting it on there. Look at it. It's going. To, they're going to show it to you. Make sure you like it. And if you don't like it, speak up. That's important too. If you don't like what they show you or you don't like what they drew on you, I personally appreciate stencils better because most of my work is very symmetrical and it needs to be straight lines so i prefer a stencil but if he does if he or she does draw on you make sure you love it okay because even when you even when they tattoo on you it's going to come out slightly different than when they first drew on you so make sure you like it do not settle for oh it's okay it's fine no it needs to be amazing you need to love it when you see it Thirdly on my list, if they're not like shaving the area and you know good and well you got hair right there, maybe you need to rethink because like, no, that's not okay. They're not supposed to be tattooing over your hair like that. Also, you need to be comfortable with your tattoo artist. Um, and if that means going to a consultation and seeing them in real life instead of just going off Instagram and they're showing up, that is fine too because... Depending on where you're getting it, but there really isn't much places you can get it where they're not going to be up on you. They're going to be literally on your body. Not like laying on you, but they're going to be seeing your body. So you need to be comfortable with your artist for the most part. Now, I know if it's a new artist, that can be kind of tough, but definitely if you feel uncomfortable, just go. Never feel like you have to be pressured to get the tattoo. Even if you made the appointment, maybe if you made a deposit, that might be a little different. Maybe you can talk to them about that. But honestly, do not feel like because you booked the, the appointment and you're there, you're ready. That does not mean you should just get it. Because it just, if it's not right, it's not right. So definitely just make sure that it's a good artist, y'all. That is so important. Um, also, I don't recommend you drinking or smoking before you go. Drinking alcohol is going to thin your blood. Drinking too much water is going to make you bleed more. And if you smoke before you go, I know it's going to calm your nerves. 
but I feel like your vision might not be the best, so you might not be able to see if the tattoo is really what you want. So you need to be in the right state of mind. Definitely eat before you go, um, and make sure you're hydrated because depending on what you get, you may be up there for a while, and yeah, added anxiety and pain and all that is just going, it might just mess you up, okay? So just be very healthy before you go. Also, please breathe through your tattooing process, okay? It might be tough, okay? Because personally, this is what I do, and this is what I personally recommend because I never want a tattoo artist to mess up because I'm moving around. You have to be very still, especially for the tattoos that I have on my side. You have to be very, very still because they're on your ribs and you're like breathing and your ribs are going to move. So I personally hold my breath. This is bad. This might sound bad, but I hold my breath while he's actually putting the needle on my skin. And then when he comes up, I, you know, breathe deeply and make sure I'm good. And I've never had any issues with that. So if that's something you think will work for you, definitely try it out. If you haven't got your first tattoo and you really think about getting it, just go get it. Make sure you really want it now, okay? Don't just get anything. And don't be scared. Just go ahead and do it. Just do it. I promise you it's not that bad. It's going to be over with before you even know it. Like, you're not even going to realize that, oh, you done? You're going to be like, yo, you done. And you're not even going to remember the pain. So, yeah. I'm getting your first tattoo, definitely just research what you want to get. Um, research the artist. Research um, the pricing because you're probably going to have to save up, okay? Um, I definitely recommend spending the money, y'all. You get what you pay for, okay? Because what they charge you is not just including their service like it's including their products it's including their um equipment it's including all of that okay the professionalism you have sometimes you got to pay for professionalism as sad as that sound you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't personally pay under 50 dollars for any tattoo because it's gonna be i mean i'm not saying it's gonna be bad but it, it could be better okay Trust me, I know, okay? I learned from experience that you just have to put the money in for a tattoo, okay? Just put the money in. I'm not saying you got to go to the most expensive artist because even the most expensive tattoo artist may not do the tattoo how you want it to be done. So definitely just look up the content um, and be prepared also, wear comfortable clothing because you're going to be in the same position for a little bit of time. So, you want to be comfortable in whatever you're wearing. Um, also, think about where you're going to have it at and what clothing would fit best for that. Like, personally, for any side tattoo that I got, I kind of wore either um, like a crop top and maybe like a bandeau or a little sports bra or something I could just pull up nothing where it's like I'm struggling to take it off or something like that um I know everybody's gonna ask this so like all of the tattoos that I got in my upper chest area um no I was not naked on the table okay I did, wasn't completely shirtless um whatever side I got it on I just pulled it up on one side maybe maybe i insert a clip of me actually there because yeah you can see it i basically just had one side up he did give me a pasty to put on yes one of my boobs were out and the other one was in and i was laying down i just had my arm up like that which is nothing crazy like and that's why i said you should be comfortable with your artist because just something like that like your body is out okay so yeah if you have any questions, definitely comment them down below if you think I didn't cover anything that you wanted to know. Definitely ask me. Um, I do have a couple tattoos, so maybe I can help you in that area. Hope you guys like this video as much as I enjoy making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis, but I know you want to see more of me. Definitely follow me on all my social media platforms. I post on there more than I post on here, so definitely keep up with me, sis. Okay, 
Um, also, put on a post notification bell because YouTube will not notify you when I post. I am trying to post once a week. So, um, I may change the days that I'm going to post during the week. So, in order for you to know when I post this, you need to put on the post notifications. Uh, definitely comment down below. I want to know down below if you have any tattoos and if you do how many. And if you don't have a tattoo, comment down below what you want to get next. No, comment down below where you want to get your first tattoo at. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Do. Sit.